I haven't recorded with this camera in a while. It's very dark. I don't know, you can't see my cat cam. It's so dark. You barely see anything. It's in the kettle. I put the lantern next to you. For you see any for <laughs> that looks like a beacon of light when it actually isn't. It's just subtly lighting up the place. This camera doesn't function completely well in the dark, does it? It's snowing. It's snowing. I've lived in the same place for 17 years of my life. Although it's a pretty nice apartment. Can't help but say that within the course of time, it's increasingly abysmal. Very. I don't want to live anymore. I don't, I'm not going to be like, oh, I'll live anywhere else, right? I'm going to live somewhere that's comfortable, most convenient, which is this place. However, I don't want a place like in central London. If the law of attraction is real, which I believe that it is real, but for the most part, just a fun motivator instead of something that's actually based, it's actually based in math or science or something we want. I want a apartment in central London with three bedrooms max, two bedrooms I see. One bedroom for me, master, another bedroom similar to master, a bit smaller for my mum. Having a two bed, big bedroom for my mum is not the best, honestly, because well, I'm not a very tall person. I'm quite daunting for her, nor is my stepdad. <laughs> and then another bedroom as a guest bedroom for my friend who wants to stay over. I have a business partner. I have a kitchen that's completely matte black with gold, a gold handle and gold and silver. I've got an island in my kitchen. The kitchen's up against the wall, I have an island, that's it. It's a pretty big apartment. I have a little balcony. Well, it's not a little balcony, it's a pretty significant fucking balcony. I have a gym out there. Like just dip bars, pull up bar, that's it. That's all I need. And maybe a treadmill. Imagining it. Oh my girlfriend. Seems to be wife. She's got a cute white thing. Black hair. A bit shy, nervous. I imagine her putting my head. <laughs> it's a good life. My bedroom's white and black. Mostly white for my master bedroom. Mostly white for my mom's bedroom, but then I choose to switch my bedrooms up with the black. My black interior. Or a gothic black interior. That's very luxurious, it's very nice. It's much better life than this one. Something I crave. Something I need. Look out for the conference of snow. Ferociously bless. Yeah, it doesn't look ferocious here, but from my POV it looks ferocious. Perhaps if I do this, you see it better. Yeah, you can see it better if I do this. It's quite cold though, so I'd rather not. Just enough for oxygen to come in. I don't have the same view for the last year. Since coming back from Vietnam, I've looked for the same view. Vietnam has taught me about money. Money has an immense. I guess me here. Because of the hard lighting. The sun's finally coming out though, that's nice. I've been in the same place for the past year. Do I look clear from here? Eh, I look okay. I've been in the same place for the past year and it's often mind-boggling to think about. Of course I've changed radically since then. I have increased my fitness, I've increased my net worth. I have actual actualized entrepreneurship experience. 
However, it does seem daunting, futile at times, I admit, and I'm worried about the future, which is not good. Two reasons why it's not good. One, obviously, worrying about the future entails that the future is not secure. Two, worrying about the future is largely a waste of time. Because if you're so conflated or invested in the future, it's often difficult to focus on the now. What's happening now? Focus on the present, which is the most important aspect. Of anything, the present. That's why it's called a gift, right? Focusing on the present is the most important thing by far, because if you focus on the past, what are you gonna get? Nothing. You might get some regret. You might think you look back on good memories, but well, that's about it. Regret and good memories. Memories that you don't care about. You don't care about. They finally fade away in the passage of time. The future, usually the 99% of things that happen so far with the future is you're either really complacent with it, you're completely, how do I say this, happy with how it's going, or which is very rare. If you have that, then it's good, right? No, it's not good, by the way. Or you're worried about the future, which I think is good because. If you're worried about the future, it means that your future or the likelihood of success in your eyes, success is often uncertain and because it's uncertain, and if anything, you're more likely to change. And this this um this kind of entails not entails, but this kind of like links in with how do I say this? Why I think being uncertain for, for your future is actually infinitely better than being certain for your future because if you're happy and complacent with your future the likelihood of you changing of course is still possible it's highly improbable so let's measure it at a graph scale this is the person so this is like 50 percent this is the person who's unlikely and happy unhappy with their future and certain about it and of course becoming complacent is incredibly easy you get a job that you like that's paying just enough, you can become complacent and you can become woefully mediocre. <laughs> okay, so this is on the scale of 50%. This is a person who's likely to change it, who's likely to change their life because they're uncertain about the future, who's worried about the future, who's worried about how their life will be. Well, and this is a person who's quite. I don't know. What? My cat loves un underneath my bed and it's full of dust and dirt, which is my fault. I moved it a week ago, not a month ago, a week ago. And it's still like, it's compiled a bunch of dust since the time and he still just loves going under there. I need to hoover it today because I don't want my cat to get lung problems. Anyways, back to my grass scale. This is the person who is uncertain about the future, worried about the future, who has no safety net, who's completely worried about how their life is going to entail, uh, what, their life is, what their life is going to entail. And this is the person with a cushy job, the, the cool 9 to 5, the nice office, work, office workplace, the nice co-workers, etc, etc. This is the result of complacency. You have an immensely reduced probability of changing your life for the better. And this is a result of lack of complacency. You have an immense high probability to change your life for the better. And why is this? Well, it's because when we have less, we tend to act more. But when we have more, we tend to act less. Obviously, the golden spot is having more and acting more, right? But individuals who can do that are a dime a dozen. They're incredibly special. And probably not you and I. If it is you, and everyone thinks that they are this person, then perfect. You work. Well, you, you, you go. You go get it, king. You get it, queen. You get the money that you deserve. You get the life that you deserve. You get the woman or man that you deserve. Get it. But if you don't have those things, you don't have the life that you deserve. You don't have the money that you deserve, and you don't have the partner that you deserve. Then you are likely not in this bracket of people that can do more and have more. You probably kind of fall into the category of people that have more and do less, or do less and have and have 
or to have less and, and do more that's the only way most people go about life and of course you, you do see people that do do more and have more like I don't know Andrew Tate or Bill Gates these type of individuals the hyper successful billionaires which often break the tipping scale with their success stories but trust me guys your aim is not billions all right your aim is millions I still see an immensely high number think about the word or the word the number 2714 this, this number is incredibly special and why is it special I believe this number is incredibly special because if you only make 2000 okay, obviously it's, if you make 2740 a day it's a lot of money but if you make 2740 dollars a day within 365 days you've made 1 million 100 net worth within the year to me the number 2740 is a mentally special number because it makes the big small, like Patrick McLean says, snaps the millions, the big one, big six figure sum, back down to reality. Now, so you can grasp it, you can grip it, grab it by its neck, choke it. <laughs> I don't know how to say like that. Listen, guys, the majority of people believe that they're, they're the exception. No one is the exception. Exception. No one is special. Even I recording this video right now is going to upload this to YouTube, and it could potentially go viral. Yada yada yada. Is not special. I am not special. No one is special. If you are truly special, then the economy will work. The world will work. The fact is, is that the majority of us are similar. We all like the same TV shows. We all like the same clothes. If you saw someone with the new Jordans and the new designer clothes, and the new this, new that, you will be impressed. We would all be impressed because we're all the same, all consumers, <sighs> all mediocre. And if you get that feeling in life sometimes, that you don't get the life that you deserve, you feel behind in life, there is that there is no safety net. Have hope because having no safety net is actually infinitely better than having safety net. It's like cat. What on earth are you doing? Just lem, just leave him be. Lem in life. <laughs> Dustin Waller said it best. The lack of safety net, the worry, the stress, the anger, contempt, jealousy, envy, hatred are some of the best things you could possibly ask for. But if you're angry, if you're jealous, if you're envious, if you're not complacent, you might actually do something about it. Still might. Like the probability is probably like 10% higher. But that 10% is usually the difference between multi-millionaires and people that are completely dope poor. Think of the stock market. So you guys have to realize everything is bottled down to your Can you guys see that from this angle? Everything is bottled down to your choice. I wonder how this video is going to look. <laughs> it's going to look stupid as fuck. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Sign out.